Hey guys, what's going on? I know it's been a while and I do apologize for that. Um, I had a really good momentum going there for a while. I was pretty consistent with my videos and my uploads and stuff. Um, but uh, inevitably my PC died again. But yeah, so uh, now I'm back. Um, so about basically what happened was about mid-December, my PC just did, did power on, but I got no picture. So I had to rip apart my PC, figure out what the hell's going on, but um, I don't really have extra parts where I can kind of fiddle with it and figure out, you know, what, what the root cause of it was. So I did what I could, couldn't figure it out. So I had to take it in to get uh, a diagnostic, which, yeah, more money right there. And then uh, they told me it was the motherboard, and uh, I don't know why, but I believe them. So I went, bought a hundred plus dollar motherboard, ripped apart my PC again, and had to rebuild it from scratch basically because the motherboard is the core of the system. And yeah, so that wasn't it. So I had to take it back to get another diagnostic, and they told me it was the processor. So I mean, who knows if they were correct at that point? A processor is going to cost about three hundred dollars. You know, it just it didn't make sense to upgrade. So you know, I just kind of seized the opportunity to invest in buying a new system because I needed it anyway. So. Yeah, so I cashed out everything that you guys had given to me so far in, in Patreon because, you know, that's what it's there for to, to kind of upgrade and invest back into make, making videos and that, that sped up the process considerably. So, you know, I pulled that out. I saved the, the rest of the the amount that I needed to, to upgrade or to buy a new PC and I was finally able to do that um, about a week, a week ago or so. So good news about that is... I'm back on track to make videos again. I have a, a faster computer, um, more along the lines of what I needed to begin with. So that's going to eliminate, you know, as many crashes as, as I was having before. It's going to eliminate um, just the length of time that it took me to, to make a video because running video editing software on a computer that can't handle it is not good. It's not fun. So, I mean, the more video clips that I put into a project, the slower it would go and it would just take forever to get anything done. And then rendering took too long. It was just bad. It was a nightmare. So I upgraded that. So I'm in a better place to make videos going forward. So the process should speed up considerably. And uh, I am back. Videos will start um, posting on the, the website here pretty soon. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I'll get back into my old rhythm where I'm doing Let's Plays and Machinimas and just the normal stuff. So Thank you for your patience, and uh, we'll get back to it shortly. The next thing I want to talk about is updates, um, just so that you guys know kind of what I was working on before things fucking exploded in my face like they always do, uh, and just kind of what's going on project-wise and what's coming up in the future. Um, I'm working on a ton of stuff, so you know I'm not going to go over everything, and I'm not going to go too in-depth as to uh, what all of it is. We'll talk a little bit about some of this stuff, but... Um, you know, going to have some kind of mystery going on in the future. So just sit tight. But uh, we'll talk about it a little bit. First thing I want to talk about is we uh, we temporarily hit the goal on the Patreon to start the new series, The Old Adventures of New Mega Man. Um, I'm currently in the process of unlocking what I need to capture video for the, uh, for the show using the HD version that Dante had uh, purchased for me to use. So thank you again for doing that for me. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. Uh, we maintain the threshold for, for the series for about three months, so that's going to give us three episodes to date. Um, if you're not sure what to expect from the series, um, you can check out a preview. I'll put a description in the link below, or you can just go to the to, to my YouTube channel and watch it from there. Thank you for all of you that contributed to that Patreon to, to make this project possible. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll gather up enough interest in this show to, to uh, get it beyond three episodes and keep going with it and stuff like that. But uh, we'll see how it goes. So yes, Days of Our Lives of Resident Evil Episode 11. So yes, it's still happening, it's still going on. Um, I'm pretty far into making it. I was able to save most of my progress that I lost uh, when, I, when the computer went down going into my new computer. Um, so I'd say probably Probably about half the script, maybe a little bit more is done. All the video capturing and most of the editing is done. Um, so we're really looking at sound effects, which 
I'm probably going to have some assistance in doing so that'll speed it up and I can focus on um, just having everything get all the lines get recorded through all the other voice actors um, doing all my lines because I do a good chunk of it myself um, but that's kind of where we're at there uh, hopefully I'll have that out probably within the next three weeks don't don't uh, don't quote me on that that's, that's what I'm going for um, and then once that one's done hopefully the remaining episodes will go a lot quicker and a lot smoother um, I'm going to put a lot more focus on to, to getting to the end of that show because I know that's kind of your big thing and what you guys are really waiting for and to see what happens after that. Um, but I'm working on it. Just uh, sit tight. It's, it's going to be worth the wait. Hopefully. I didn't even really cross my fingers. I'd... It'll be good. Next thing is going to be uh, Days of Our Lives Resident Evil The Musical. So it's going to be attached to, uh, obviously, the Days of Our Lives Resident Evil 4 show. It's not going to be an official episode. It'll be kind of like the uh, the Christmas episode, the Christmas special, where, you know, it's the same characters, same stories going on, but it's not, uh, it's, it won't be treated as an actual episode. It'll be just kind of like a bonus. Uh, it won't be a full, like, 10-minute long thing. It'll be a little bit shorter, but uh, that one's almost done, so keep an eye out for that. The next project I have is the Resident Evil 7 Let's Play in VR on Madhouse difficulty. So I have already played the game Resident Evil 7, obviously. I mean, it's been out for a while. I'm a hardcore Resident Evil fan, as I'm sure you guys know by now. Um, so I imported the uh, the Japanese eCapcom limited edition, so I'm still waiting to get that. So that's on PlayStation, and that's how I'm going to play it on VR. Um, so in the meantime, I did get the collector's edition on Xbox One, and I have gone through the game because, like I said, I, I wasn't going to fucking w wait around. Who do you think I am? But, uh, so yeah, so I played through it once, but Madhouse difficulty changes everything. So, I mean, it's way harder difficulty. The VR is going to change it up. Item placement is different. Enemy places, is, enemy placement is different. So it's a different experience. So, um, it's still going to be interesting still going to stress me the fuck out so it'll definitely be worth the view so that's coming up as well uh, next thing I want to talk about is the Silent Hill Let's Play I have not forgotten about that so I had you guys vote a while ago on what you wanted to see me Let's Play next and Silent Hill was the victor so I didn't forget about it um, I just kinda had to put it on the back burner temporarily with projects that I got going on and you know Resident Evil 7 came out obviously and uh, my computer fucking exploded. Things like that cost delays, but um, I haven't forgotten about it. It is going to happen, and uh, I already downloaded the um, the digital version on the PlayStation Network, so quality will be good. Uh, it'll, it's still coming, so just hang in there for that. Next project is going to be uh, the Walking Dead motion comic. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with what those are, but Basically, we take the comic book panels and we add sound effects and music, original music. Um, we uh, voice act all the lines and we just deliver the the story in, in more of a cinematic way. And uh, this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And uh, this was before there was even a, a Walking Dead TV series. That's how long I've been trying to or wanting to do this. But uh, even with that... You know, at first I was kind of like, oh shit, you know, now there's a show, no, one, no one's going to want to see this. But that's not true because, you know, as, as I'm sure most of you know, they they went a different direction with the show. You know, they kind of did their own thing. They, they left some characters out. They did kind of new things with the characters. So doing a motion comic is still going to be relevant and, and interesting in its own right. So, yeah, definitely keep an eye out for that. That'll, that'll be a really fun project, too. Uh, so beyond that, like I said, I didn't, I don't want to go into, you know, I don't want to lay all my cards on the table, but I have a ton of other projects outside of what I mentioned here. But, uh, I got, you know, in the near future, I have two new machinima parody projects that I have coming up with, uh, with different games. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, I'm not going to say what they are. I just want to kind of have them pop out or maybe I'll do like a little teaser trailer or something kind of like I did with Mega Man. But um, those are coming up, and then beyond that, I mean, I just have tons and tons of stuff that we're working on and, and things that I'm reaching out to other creators to to do. So 
lots of stuff coming up uh, machinima and parody wise as well so don't worry I'm not going just let's play that's not what I'm transitioning into uh, I just wanted to have uh, more varied content for you guys and uh, opportunities to release quicker content because machinimas take a lot of time and effort you know straight up it just it's not something I can you know push out once a week it's just not realistic uh, but let's plays are something that I can in some of these other projects I can put together a little bit quicker so that way you know we'll have a variety of different things that you guys can watch and I can have uh, you know streamlined content for you guys you know consistently next thing I want to talk a little bit about is uh, the special gift for patrons on patreon that donated during the month of December and just all the the gifts the rewards that I'm going to be sending out here pretty soon probably within the next couple of weeks so if you've been waiting on your patreon reward uh, that's going to be in the mail here pretty soon I'll, if I don't have your address I'll be I'll be getting that from you here pretty soon so sit tight on that um, I probably won't say what the special gift is for the December reward but uh, I think it's pretty cool and I'll kind of leave it to the handful of you guys out there that that will be receiving it to kind of spread the word if you guys want to post it and in the comments or on my you know in in YouTube comments or on my Facebook or whatever on your personal um, social networks whatever you guys can kind of spread the word that way if you're interested or not but it's just kind of a, a special gift that I thought would be cool for you guys and and uh, you'll be getting that soon the last project that I want to talk about today is going to be the Wardcast, the Wards podcast so basically I'm just going to be using that as a, a way to directly communicate to you guys consistently. Um, it's going to be a weekly podcast. Uh, I'm going to communicate to you guys, uh, you know, what's going on with the ward, what projects I'm working on, uh, what progress is looking like, you know, where I am in the, in, in the creation process and stuff like that. So, you know, that'll keep you guys posted as to what's going on. That way you're not waiting in the dark and, you know, you, you get to see kind of what I'm doing. Um, beyond that, <clears throat> we're going to be answering questions about the ward, about Days of Our Lives, Resident Evil, um, just whatever you guys have on your mind. Uh, so you post your questions in the comments like below here. I'll be looking at those. But any questions that I see you guys posting on the videos, on my social media, anything like that, I'll pull from there. And then I'll answer them on the show for you. Um, we're going to discuss things like video games, new releases, fan favorites, uh, game news. We'll talk machinima, Resident Evil, you know, basically whatever we feel like. So, and, you know, you're encouraged to join the conversation via the comments. You know, we definitely want to hear what, what you guys think about what we're doing, about the topics we're talking about. It, it'll be fun. And in the podcast, I mean, it's not it's not just going to be me talking at you guys or anything like that. It's going to be you know it'll, it'll be me and a co-host and we'll have special guests uh you know i want you guys to contribute to the conversation via the comments and we'll interact with you guys that way show to show we'll do contests and just let you know what's going on every week you know it'll be a good way for us to keep in touch and announce new things and just have some fun so hopefully i'll see you guys there that's pretty much all I had in the way of updates, but uh, I do want to take a few minutes to recognize and give thanks to a few special people who have uh, really supported the ward over the last year. Uh, first off is Dante Comstock. He's also known as Darker Bridger EX uh, for graciously donating me a copy of Dead Rising on Xbox One for the recently announced Dead Rising Machinima, The New Adventures of Old Mega Man. Um, Dante also makes some pretty awesome machinima, which you can check out at www.youtube.com forward slash dark abridger ex. I also want to thank Allie Doyle, who recently donated to us and also shared some very kind words and just a lot of love and support, which means a great deal to me. Uh, thank you so much for the inspiration and support, Allie. I, you know, I really appreciate it. Last but certainly not least, I want to give a huge shout out to Alec Funel. Sorry if I butchered that. Uh, I'm sure I did. But uh, who's just been our biggest supporter via Patreon and a huge moral supporter and a great friend. Uh, thank you, man, for, for all you've done and whatever you continue to do in the future. You pretty much single-handedly made the new adventures of Old Mega Man a reality. And uh, you helped me replace my PC, which is huge. Uh, your support means so much and makes a huge difference. So thank you so much. And uh, just keep watching. Thanks, man.
Alec is also working on a machinima called Dino Stupid Crisis, Episode 4, in which I will be lending my voice, and uh, I'll also be assisting in the casting process, but more information on that later. That's pretty much all I had for this video, guys. Uh, once again, sorry for the delays. I've got a ton of stuff coming up, and uh, I fully intend to grow and increase quality and quantity on the ward. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.